Welcome back everybody to Yoga, Tea, and the British Aristocracy. So today I am here, uh, of course, at Matt Britton, uh, England's finest manor house, but I'm here in the Great Chamber. So you can see a little bit above me, uh, part of the ceiling coming down. This is the Tudor part of the house. So this part of the house dates back to around, we think the 1540s, 1550s, and the pendulum ceiling is a, was a popular style back in the Tudor period. And in fact, here in the Great Chamber, where we're just about to do yoga, uh, the exact same ceiling, or a similar one, I should say, a replica, um, is at Hampton Court Palace as well. So I know you can't see very much of it now, but I do have another YouTube video that we will make sure that we add on to the end of this so that you can watch um, again, one of the YouTube videos that I did was about this room in particular, the Great Chamber, so you'll be able to see it up close and personal. But we're going to be flowing here today, of course, doing some yoga, and I've got my cup of tea. So today I am drinking green tea. I mean, green tea is probably my favorite tea, so a lot of these I will be drinking green tea. <laughs> but I do love a good cup of good green tea. So here we are in the Great Chamber. Oh, what I do also want to mention about the Great Chamber is, yes, right now we use it as a bedroom, but the reason that it's actually called a Great Chamber and was called a Great Chamber back then in the Tudor period is because this is where the Lord of the house would in one sense kind of have his sitting room, if you like. So he would he would find space and quietness and stillness and away from everybody else in his own private great or her lady um, <laughs> great chamber. So that is why, and we still call it a great chamber to the day to this day because that's what this room was actually uh, uh, meant to be. Um, but we've now created it into a bedroom. So hopefully you've got your cup of tea ready. Let's all take a sip together. Mm. So good, green tea. Right, I'm gonna put mine to the side. So again, it's just gonna be a lovely flow for all levels, lovely flow for all levels. So come on to your mat and we'll just come into a seated position and put your tea to one side. You can imagine that we're all here together in this room. And again, just allow really just the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands, doesn't matter to rest gently on your knees or your thighs. And we'll just start by taking three cleansing breaths together. So take a deep, full breath in through the nose. And when you're ready, just open up the mouth and let that breath out. Feel your shoulder blades drawing down the back. And again, deep, full breath in. Open up the mouth and let that breath out. And just one more good old cleansing breath. Breathe in. Fill up the body with that wonderful breath of yours. And when you're ready, just you can even make a noise. You can just like sigh it out. <sighs> Cleansing breath. Good, blink your eyes open. From here, we're just gonna turn over onto our hands and our knees. So coming onto our hands and our knees, just a couple of cat-cow stretches. So shoulders stack over the wrists. Hip stack over the knees. You can have your toes curled under or you can come onto the tops of your toes. And as we inhale, we lift the tailbone, press the belly down, draw the shoulder blades down the back, and it's a real slightly lengthen out through the crown of the head. As we exhale, we tuck the tailbone, we round the spine, we push the floor away and let the head hang. And again, two more of these. Inhale to lift and to lengthen up. Maybe even do it with your eyes closed and exhale to take that tuck and that round. One more time, inhale, really exaggerate this. Lift the tailbone, draw the shoulder blades down the back and then lengthen through the crown of the head and exhale, take that tuck and that round. Good, very, very slowly on your next inhale, take it back to just a neutral alignment here. We're gonna inhale, sweep the right arm up. So right arm sweeps up. And as you exhale, thread the right arm underneath your left. So we're coming in to thread the needle. You can keep the left palm of the hand down onto the mat and you're pressing it into the mat. You're gonna find just a wonderful, amazing twist here, especially if you've been sitting at your desk on Zoom calls or you've been driving. Twists are the best cure for really any type of seated that we've, long seated that we've been doing, twists are the best. 
One more deep full breath in here. So full breath in. Just stay here and slowly exhale, let that breath out. Very slowly, just gently take your time, press yourself back up to that tabletop position and we'll take it on the other side. So we'll take an inhale and I'm just gonna fix my mic here. There we go. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and exhale, thread the left arm underneath your right. And again, just enjoy this twist. I like to press the right palm of the hand down into the mat just a little bit and I play with that until I'm like, okay, that's the twist I really want to feel. So just remember your spine loves you for this. So spine loves you for this. So the more you press down, the more twist you're gonna get. So again, you decide how deep you want your twist. We take another breath in here. So full breath in, imagine you're breathing into your spine. And then just like exhale, maybe even close your eyes here. Inhale again, gently just press yourself back up into your tabletop. Spread your fingers nice and wide so your hands have energy in them. Curl your toes under and we lift the hips up and back into our downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we have an opportunity here to just walk the dog out. So we can walk the dog out, bending one knee, bending the other knee. We're just starting to move the body. That's why we're here. We're here to open the body, to stretch the body to lift the body, to lengthen the body, and of course, to move the body. So coming into a still now downward facing dog, imagine you're pushing the floor away with your hands and your hips are trying to lift you up, lifting you up and then drawing you back a little bit. Lift the gaze, see the space between the hands, lift your heels so you can feel a stretch in the soles of the feet and start to tiptoe your feet up. Now when you do this, See if you can keep your arms straight. Push the floor away. Tiptoe your feet all the way up. Push the floor away. Push the floor away. Keep the hips lifted. Once your feet come up, lower the heels down. And we'll take a gentle, gentle ragdoll here. Let's interlace the fingers around the back of the head. So around the back of the head. And gently allow the back of the head just to rest into the palms of the hands. It makes your head just feel nice and safe here. And you can start to feel then a little bit more blood flow around the face, around the whole of the head. And feeling that blood flow. And then maybe you want to take a little swing forwards and backwards or from side to side. But what we're looking for here is we're not just looking for length in the backs of the legs. That will happen. We're also looking for wonderful blood flow into the head. Just think about your head like lives on top of you all the time, right? All the blood is flowing like down. We want to be able to get some blood flow into the head now. And those of you who are swinging from side to side, just swing yourself back to just a neutral, just like a neutral place here. Release your hands away from your head. Gentle bend in the knees. And as you round up, imagine your feet are pressing down. So as you round up, your feet are pressing down to lift you back up. Take your time here. Roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down a couple of times. So just like a nice up, back, and down a couple of times. Come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Take your big toes to touch and a little gap between your ankles. So a little gap between your ankles and just let your arms and your hands lengthen alongside the body so palms can face wherever they normally face open to the sides but just let them relax here and again chest is nice and wide and open and we set our intention so your intention for your practice maybe you need to bring in a little bit more calm or rest or space or peace or silence go ahead bring that in just by even simply silently repeating that word to yourself a few times. And then just start to really inject the breath into the word that you chose. Blink your eyes open. Have a great practice, you guys. Take a big inhale, so sweep your arms nice and high. Lift and lengthen through the four sides of the waist. We wanna really stretch the spine long. As you exhale, hinge through the hips, just come all the way down, and again, just let the head hang. We breathe in to lift up to that halfway lift. And as we exhale, we step the right leg back. We step the left leg back. We push the floor away. We come down to the knees. 
slide the hands back to the knees up the thighs and taking it into just a really mini back bend here. Bring the heels of the hands or the two fists to your lower back. And as you inhale, squeeze your elbows in so the chest will lift higher. And as you exhale, extend the tailbone down. So coming into just an easy camel ustrasana here. Inhale, lift through the chest. Maybe close your eyes and just exhale. Really enjoy this lengthening the spine with a little bit of a back bend. One more breath here. Lift through that chest, that heart center. And just like enjoy this exhale here. Inhale, take it back to center. We'll exhale, sit back onto the heels, rest the hands onto the thighs, close the eyes, full breath in and a full breath out. Blink your eyes open, inhale, press it forward into that tabletop, and as you exhale, again, lift your hips up and back, you're in that downward facing dog. Just take a breath in your down dog, breathe in, and breathe it out. We're gonna inhale now and reach the right leg high, so the right leg reaches high. As you exhale, bend your right knee, Open your right hip over your left hip. You can start to circle your right ankle, looking underneath your left armpit. Maybe point and flex that foot. Take another deep, full breath in here. We're gonna exhale, bring the right knee to the right upper, uh, upper arm, but open up your right hip out to the side as you push the floor away. Nice and slow, inhale to reach the right leg up and back to that three-legged dog. And again, we'll do the same thing again. Exhale, right knee to your right upper arm, but open up the hip out to the side, push the floor away. Inhale again, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, trust me, this is good for your hip flexor. Bring the right knee to the right upper arm and open up the right hip out to the side. And now just step the right foot to the outside of your right hand, coming into our lizard pose. From here, we can just take a rock forwards and backwards. So rocking forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Those of you who might have a little bit more opening in your hips, you can always bring your back knee down and then lower onto your forearms, aligning the elbows with the right heel. And again, working forwards and backwards. Forwards. You can even open up onto the blade of the right foot. You want to get a little bit deeper into that right hip flexor, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. One more breath here, breathe in, and we breathe it out. From here, you're going to toe heel your right foot more really to the center of your body, the midline of your body. Hands are framing now that right foot. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. So we're in this wonderful twisted lunge. Happily stay here or we can move onto the blade of the left foot and move onto the blade of the right foot and coming into our Shiva's twist. So bringing that right arm down parallel to the mat. Ooh, I can feel this through the left side body. And stay here for another breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Good, inhale, you're gonna come back to that twisted lunge. So coming back into that twisted lunge, and just bring your right hand down to the mat. And as we inhale, we're gonna lift up into that high lunge. So lifting up into that high lunge. And from here, again, we're gonna interlace the fingers around the back of the head, open up the shoulders or open up the elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades in. So elbows are opening up, shoulder blades are squeezing in and we lift the chest up. One more breath here. So lifting through the chest, breathe in and breathe it out. Release the arms back up alongside the ears, take another breath in here, and as you exhale, open it up wide to that warrior two. So opening it up nice and wide to that warrior two. Flip the right palm up, big inhale to reverse the warrior, and as you exhale, hands cartwheel all the way down to the mat, stepping the right foot back to the left foot, you can go straight to your down dog, or you can lower through your chaturanga, even bringing your knees down, elbows bend in. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. Before we do the other side, let's just walk the hands back to the feet. 
Coming into our Padagustasana, catch a hold of your big toes with your two peace fingers. Inhalation, lengthen through the spine. Exhalation takes you down into that forward fold. And just enjoy this here. So full breath in. And a full breath out. Maybe shift the weight more into the balls of the feet. One more breath here. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale again. We're going to lift up to that halfway lift. Exhale, release your fingers out from underneath your toes and just walk your hands all the way back up the mat into your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, we're going to inhale, reach the left leg high. As you exhale, bend your left knee, open your left hip over your right hip, and you can look underneath your right armpit, circle your ankle, point and really flex that foot. Again, you're pushing the floor away. Take another deep, full breath in here. And as you exhale, bring your left knee to your left upper arm, but open your hip out. So opening up that hip. And again, inhale, reach the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, slow it down to the left upper arm, and then open up the hip. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, Left knee to your left upper arm and really open up that hip, shoulders over those wrists. Step the left foot to the outside of your left hand, coming into our lizard pose. So you might need to slide the right ball of the foot back a little bit. And again, we're just gonna move forwards and backwards. I can already feel this in my right hip flexor, right? So this might be where you want to stay. If you've got open hips, some of us do, you might wanna bring your right knee down, bring your forearms down, elbows line up with your left heel, and again, you can rock forwards and backwards. You can even lift the back knee up as well. Rocking forwards and backwards. So one more breath here, full breath in. And a full breath out. If you're on your forearms, go ahead and lift up through the palm of the hands. Just toe heel your left foot back to the midline of the body. So we're in this low lunge. From our low lunge, inhale, reach the left arm up. Remember, we can happily stay here in a twisted lunge, or we can come into Shiva's twist. We move on to the blade of the right foot, we move on to the blade of the left foot, we lower the hips down and bring the left arm parallel to the mat below us. So I can feel a real nice right body stretch here, right side body stretch here. One more breath here, full breath in, and a full breath out. So again, we're gonna inhale, come back up into that twisted lunge. Exhale, release the left hand down to the mat. So left hand comes down. And from here, we take an inhale, we rise up into that high lunge. So from this high lunge, interlace your fingers around the back of the head, open up the elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades in, draw the tailbone down, and now inhale, lift through the heart center. So inhaling, lifting through that heart center. One more full breath here, quite a deep opening in that heart center area. Breathe in and breathe it out. Inhale to reach the arms back up alongside the ears and we take an exhale, we open it up to that warrior two. From our warrior two, left palm flips, Big inhale to reverse the warrior. And as we exhale, hands cartwheel down to the mat, taking it nice and slow, stepping the left foot back to the right foot. And again, you can lower your knees or not as you come through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale takes you back, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, again, we're gonna walk the hands back to the feet. So back to the feet, bend your knees, slide the palms of the hands underneath the soles of the feet. As you inhale, find length. And as you exhale, again, enjoy this forward fold. So my advice is to shift the weight a tiny bit into the balls of the feet, like a tiny bit, and you'll start to feel the hips lifting, you feel more length in the backs of the legs. One more full breath in here, everybody. Like breathe into your body, like fill it up, breathe in. And we breathe it out. 
Inhale to lift up halfway. Release your hands out from underneath your feet. As you exhale, bring your hands to your hips and inhale, come all the way up to standing. So we're coming back up to standing. You can stay at the back of your mat. We're just gonna take it into a tree pose. So we're gonna shift the weight into the left leg, bend the right knee, catch a hold of the right ankle, place the right sole of the foot to the inner left thigh, and we'll bring the hands together at heart center. So bring the hands together at heart center. Just enjoy this. And then the option is to reach the arms up. And I'm gonna give you another option here, which is kind of what we've been doing throughout this practice, is to interlace your fingers around the back of the head, squeeze the shoulder blades in, open up those elbows, and then lift the chest up. So lifting the chest up. One more breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. If you have your hands to the back of the head, Again, inhale, you can reach the arms up. Exhale, palms together, right down through heart center. Inhale, right knee forward, and exhale, right sole the foot down to the mat, back into your Tadasana. So we'll take it on the other side, shift the weight into the right leg, bend your left knee, go ahead and bring the left sole of the foot to the inner right thigh, or inner right calf, Totally fine as well. Hands come together, heart center. Happily stay here and find your balance here. Or reaching the arms up. Chest should be lifting. So chest is lifting. The other option is again, interlacing your fingers around the back of the head. Open up the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades in, and now lift through the chest. One more breath here, breathe in. Try to relax your face. And breathe it out. Slow it down to release. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, hands together, right down through heart center, nice and slow. Inhale, left knee forward. Exhale, left sole of the foot down. And you're still at the back of the mat, arms alongside your body, Tadasana. Full breath in, breathe in. And breathe it out. Take an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. As you exhale, hinge through the hips, come all the way back down into that forward fold. Breathe in to lift up halfway, and as you exhale, walk your hands back up your mat into your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, full breath in, and a full breath out. Good, from here, we're gonna very, very slowly bring the knees back down to the mat. Slide the hands back to the knees, up the thighs. Another camel. Heel, some of you may want to go deeper. Heels of the hands are two fists to your lower back. Draw your elbows in. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale. Take it back by keeping the hands to the lower back. Some of you may want to release your hands to your heels. The chest is lifting. Chest is lifting here. Feels so good. If you, the more you lift through the chest, the more you're gonna lengthen the spine. So imagine somebody's trying to draw you up through the chest. They're trying to lift you up through the chest. One more full breath in here, breathe in. And breathe out. Remember how much your spine loves this. So as you inhale, come back to center. Again, keep the chest lifted as you inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, release the hips to the heels. Hands to the thighs, Vajrasana, take a full breath in. It might feel a little bit weird right now. That's totally normal with the Strasana. And a full breath out. We will shift the hips to one side of the heels. Doesn't matter what side. First, just extend your legs nice and long. So we'll extend the legs nice and long. And from here, we're gonna keep the left leg long. So the left leg stays nice and long and we'll bend the right knee. So we'll bend the right knee. Ideally, one fist with distance between your inner right foot and your inner left thigh. Right heels align with your right sitting bone. Inhale, we're first gonna reach the right arm up, extend it forward as we come into Marichyasana. Wrap that right armpit, upper arm, across the top of the right shin, bring it around. Don't worry if your hands don't bind together at the back. You can use a sock. A sock is a really, you don't even have to have a strap. A sock is really, really good. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, you are forward folding, trying to keep, again, lengthening the chest and the crown of the head towards the top of that left foot. 
coming into our Marichyasana. One breath here, breathe in and breathe it out. We inhale to lift the upper body. We're gonna pick the right foot up, place the right sole of the foot up and over the left leg. Inhale, arms reach up, taking it into our Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Exhale, bend the left elbow, left upper arm wraps across the outer seam of the right thigh, right hand base of the spine. And again, we're gonna inhale, lengthen, and exhale, take that twist. One more time. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, and exhale to take that twist. Take an inhale all the way around to the left for that counter twist. Exhale takes you back to center. Release your right leg long. Bend your left knee in. Left sole of the foot to the mat. Left heel aligned with your sitting bone and one fist with distance between your inner left foot and your inner right thigh. Take an inhale. Reach the left arm up. Extend as far forward as you can. Start to wrap that left upper arm armpit across the top of the shin. And again, use your sock. If you have a strap, use a strap or eventually find binding through your hands. And we take an inhale here. Remember we wanna, as we lengthen shoulder blades down the back as the chest and the crown of the head lengthen forwards towards that right foot. One more breath here, breathe in and we breathe it out. Inhale again, we lift the upper body up. We pick the left foot up, we place it over the right thigh, reaching both arms up for our Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Keep the spine long, just bend your right elbow, wrap the right upper arm across the outer seam of the left leg, backstroke your left hand back behind you, take an inhale, find length, and an exhale to twist. One more time, inhale. Imagine somebody's pulling you up through the crown of the head and exhale to twist. Inhale, take it all the way around to the right for that counter twist, amazing you guys. Exhale takes you back to center. Go ahead and release your left leg. Give it a nice little uh, walk or walk out and go ahead and roll yourself all the way down onto your mat. So coming all the way down into your mat and we'll just end today with a nice happy baby before Shavasana. So just popping again the feet up, catch a hold of the outer edges of your feet or your ankles and allow the knees and the thighs to draw out and down. So out and down, bring your awareness now to your shoulders. See if you can just draw your shoulders down the back. So draw the shoulders down the back. As you do that, lengthen the tailbone down onto the mat as well. So we're really looking for a long spine as well as an opening in the hip flexors and in really the groin area here. One more breath, just enjoy this happy baby. One more full breath in here. And exhale to empty. Amazing practice, you guys. Very slowly slide your hands away from your feet. Lower the soles of the feet down. Lengthen one leg long, lengthen the other leg long. Doing anything else you feel you need to come into your final resting pose. Shavasana, enjoying Shavasana. Give yourself at least a minute. I mean, that's minimum in your Shavasana. Allow the whole body to just melt and dissolve into the mat. So give yourself at least a minute here to be still, not only in the physical body, but to be still in the heart, to be still in the head, and really to allow your energetic body to actually be still and find space as well. Thank you all very, very much for joining me here again at Matt Britton for Yoga Tea and the British Aristocracy here in the Great Chamber. Do leave your comments below and I look forward to seeing you here again very, very soon.